Real quick before we get started, we have to take a look at the Heisman watch. And who do we see down there at the bottom? Our very own Craig Shiloh from Blue Mountain State. Let's take a look at some of these other dudes. We got Travis Etienne in there. And how about Craig Shiloh? Last game, 13 carries for 119 yards. He deserves it. What's going on YouTube? Wild Lion Games here. We are back with some Blue Mountain State football and we're taking on the number 14 Washington Huskies. It's our second ranked opponent of the season. The first one we blew it against Arizona State. They scored at the very last second to win and uh, this time we're trying to earn our respects. We're not even receiving votes but we need to get into that top 25. So Alex Moran drops back to throw. He hits Ira Treadlow, who gets some extra yards after the reception. 13 yards on the gain there. Brings up second and seven for Blue Mountain State. They are driving down the field. Moran, little play action. He goes down the middle. He finds Ira Treadlow once again for 26 yards. Floats that one right over top of the linebackers. Ira Treadlow with two receptions already. And he's looking good. Moran drops back to throw. And he's gonna hit Treadlow in the flats. I don't know if the scouting report for Washington just forgot he was on the team, or maybe they're playing with 10 guys out there, but uh, he's open every time. And this one, Craig Shiloh, right up the gut for an eight yard touchdown to finish the drive. Let's take a look at that one again. Great run, but how about the offensive line here? Look at that top down view, man. Craig Shiloh could have you could have put three of them side by side and ran through that so immediately Washington State's gonna face a third and five Easton drops back to throw nowhere to go he tries to hit his running back in the flats but that Blue Mountain State defense is too tough so here comes BMS offense once again a little play action for Moran he rolls out nearly evades the sack and he slides down for a nine yard gain giving his team third and one much easier to convert on third and one and third and long they're going to give it to Craig Shiloh misses the hole but gets enough for a first down and then here's Craig Shiloh again and not too good he's got a little injury here looks like maybe the elbow the forearm not really sure so he's going to be out not sure for how long yet but second and eight Moran drops back to throw he's rolling out to his right he's looking to run but no he slings it towards the end zone and finds Treadlow touchdown Blue Mountain State, Ira Treadlow. That is his fourth reception of the game. That is also Moran's fourth completion of the game. What a throw. Somebody stop these two. I thought Carl Deloach and Moran were the uh, were the best duo. This We might have a new duo. This Blue Mountain State offense is really opening up as the season goes along. And the defense still doing their thing. There's Larry. And here we go. A little update on Shiloh. Low injury risk, just a strained forearm, but we're going to keep him out for the two quarters. We're not going to bring him back early. No no need to risk. Cunningham's a good backup running back. Uh, I think he can get the job for us until Craig Shiloh's good to roll. Uh, we need we need Craig in the long haul. Y'all saw it. He's a, he's a Heisman uh, candidate, so we need him. And ooh, Blue Mountain State bites hard on the read option. Jacob Sermon, 19 yards on the carry. And if you didn't notice, Washington's backup quarterback is now in. Uh, the starting quarterback got a little shaken up there. And Salvin Ahmed, nowhere to go. Thad Castle dropping him in the backfield. Third and six for the Washington Huskies. Sim Sermon drops back to throw. He hits his man Bryant. And Summers lays a big hit on Hunter Bryant. But once again, the Huskies face third and goal. Sermon drops back to throw. Get a little screen pass, but Thad Castle's right there reading it. You can't fool him. 
So they're going to line up for the field goal on fourth and goal. Should be an easy one, about 35 yards. And the kick is up, and he gets it right down the middle. Washington gets on the board, makes this a ball game, 14-3. to So here we go, Blue Mountain State immediately facing a third and two. Cunningham still in the game. Moran hands it off. Cunningham breaks outside. Good blocking up ahead by Carl DeLoach and Ira Treadlow. Those two are definitely going to the NFL. Moran, little play action. Rolling out to his right, trying to escape and cannot. The shoestring sag brings up third and 14. Moran, one minute left on the clock. And who does he find across the middle? None other than Ira Treadlow, who gets 24 yards on the reception there. He's having a hell of a game. Five, five receptions for over 100 yards already. We are just in the first half. Once again, play action. Blue Mountain State really going to that play action. And Moran, across his body, begins to roll out to his left, stops, puts his foot in the ground, and he hits Ira Treadlow in the end zone for his second touchdown pass. Holy cow. Somebody stop these two. I wonder what the other receivers are thinking. Like, hey, uh, we, we, we would like the ball too. And ooh, they bite. The DN bites on the read option, but luckily he's got backup. And that's going to bring up fourth and five. Blue Mountain State calls a timeout. They want to try and score again before the half. Moran drops back to throw. He's going to go deep and throws a double coverage to Deloach and just a silly throw there. That's going to be picked off with three seconds left. And we're going to go ahead and jump into the third quarter here. What a waste of a drive there. No need to do that. Hopefully that doesn't derail them on offense in the second half, ending the first half with a pick. Third and six for Washington. They are down by a few scores here. Easton is back in the game, and he's going to find his man Bryant who gets some yards after the catch here. Hunter Bryant's 17-yard reception. Easton drops back to throw. Blue Mountain State bringing the pressure, and it's a screen. And they're going to pick up five, but not enough for the first. It'll bring up fourth and three. They're going to have to settle for another field goal. And the kick is good once again. Makes this a 21-6 game. But that's two scores. It's still a game here in the third quarter. And Craig Shiloh looks like he tripped up. He is back in the game. We're happy to see him. Gotta love that. He's going deep for Deloach. Carl Deloach hangs on to the ball. Look at him go up and grab this. Just gets right over top of the DB. Get mossed. Third and six for Blue Mountain State offense. They haven't faced many of these, but they're still driving down the field. Moran drops back to throw. He's rolling out to his right. Who does he cut? Oh, it's picked off. He tries to force the ball into the end zone. And that's going to be a costly interception. The first one before the half, you know, you're just trying to make something happen to get some extra points. But that one, that one's a costly mistake right there in the red zone. You can't do that. And once again, Blue Mountain State's defense biting hard on the read option. Unable to stop it. If I'm Washington, I just keep running that over and over and over again. And this is going to bring up second and 10 for Washington. Down in their own end zone. Or in their own half of the field, I should say. Sorry. Here's Ahmed and <laughs> Fat Castle. He's right there to meet him. Third and 11. Easton drops back to throw. And he's going to find his man, McClatcher, once again. Chico McClatcher, 22 yard reception. And the Washington Huskies are moving down the field. Third and eight. And it's just slightly overthrown to Reggie Frederick, not able to bring that one in, bringing up a fourth and eight situation. Easton drops back to pass, and he's gonna get rid of this one, but unable to complete the pass, and that's gonna be a turnover. Blue Mountain State football, second and eight. They're gonna give this to Craig Shiloh to keep it on the ground. He gets the first, and the ball pops out. And it looks like Washington has the ball. You have got to be kidding me. Craig Shiloh, let's take a look at this again. Craig Shiloh gets the first and fumble. Yeah, that ball came out. He gets popped and that ball comes right out. That is three drives, three turnovers for Blue Mountain State. Not looking good. They have completely stalled out on offense. And now Washington's going deep. Almost picked off by McAfee. 
almost picked off by McAfee. They really could have used that right there. Easton, second and 10. He's going to find Jones, who tiptoes on the sideline to make the reception. Third and nine. I feel like we've seen this a bunch. Going for the screen, but Blue Mountain State is ready for it this time, and they stop it. Only one yard on the game, but the Huskies are going to go for it. You know that. They have to. Fourth and eight. Easton drops back. He's looking around. He steps up in the pocket, and he's sacked. And that's another turnover on downs. And thank God for this Blue Mountain State defense coming in clutch because this offense can't do squat right now. Play action. Moran drops back to throw. He's going for a shred low, and that's picked off. Oh, boy. Four consecutive drives, four turnovers. The offense is out of sync. The offense, that interception really did derail them at the end of the half because they haven't been able to do anything ever since then. And at the same time, Washington's offense is trying to make something happen. The defense is doing a great job. Bend but don't break. Still haven't allowed, any, allowed a touchdown yet. But Barcelia, he's going to get this down inside the five. First and goal for the Washington Huskies trying to narrow this lead and give themselves a chance. Easton drops back to throw, and he's going to find his man on a slant route. Ty Jones with a seven-yard touchdown. That's their first of the game. Jacob Easton rockets that one in there, threading the needle. And it looks like Washington's going to go for two here, wisely so. And they're going to hand this off, and Ahmed's got nowhere to go. Blue Mountain State defense reads this like a book, and now they're going for the onside kick big moment and the kick we easily recover it try and get a couple yards after this should have just knelt on it man be safe be safe so third and ten for blue mountain state they're just gonna let the clock run down here gotta get a first moran drops back to throw and he's gonna float this one across and he actually gets ira treadlow 26 yards reception and that will wrap it up blue mountain state Hangs on to win. Barely an ugly second half, but Ira Treadlow with 11 receptions, 178 yards and two touchdowns. He gets the player of the game award, as he should. And Blue Mountain State finally beats a top 25 team. And this should hopefully earn us the respect. This should earn us the respect, I would hope. I would only hope. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content, hit that subscribe button. Always putting out new stuff. Sorry if I'm a little nasally or sniffing a lot in the video. I was trying my best not to. My allergies are killing me right now. Allergies are killing me today. I don't know why. They were fine yesterday, but today it's killing me. So anyway, y'all have a good weekend. Peace.